Overnight packages and early bird groceries arrive before breakfast and midnight snacks ordered from all night takeaways. That's the norm here in the nation. As the pandemic boosted contactless payments and services exponentially, Korea plans to ride this momentum to create a massive industry. Here's Oh Seung with the third installment of our special series on post-COVID-19 sectors. A self-driving vehicle comes to your office block with the meal you ordered still hot and ready to eat. Delivery robots are yet to be approved by the government, but they're being tested under a regulatory sandbox in Weston's Ho. We have been developing self-driving vehicles or robots which can be adapted to all purposes, shapes and sizes, as there is growing demand but not enough labor in the smart logistics and infrastructure market. As part of its New Deal strategy for the post-coronavirus economy, the government is aiming to grow the smart logistics sector, introducing intelligent robots and driverless technology running on the country's super-fast 5G network. The land ministry plans to inject some 122 million US dollars into the sector between next year and 2027 to develop delivery and logistics technology for everyday use. This includes short-distance delivery bots and smart storage cabins, as well as a massive smart logistics network. Taking advantage of cutting-edge technology such as the Internet of Things, blockchain and robotics, the logistics infrastructure is expected to make deliveries faster and more efficient and also reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Traditional shippers like Hyundai Heavy Industries are already jumping into the game, joining hands with IT firm KT. They are developing and testing self-driving forklifts with AI voice recognition functions, as well as smart logistics management and security solutions running on 5G. To gain uh, competitiveness and then uh, to gain uh, credit uh, in the uh, global community is very important. In this way that Korea have to make a good example uh, how to uh, how to combine uh, the uh, smart technology with the logistic. Uh, and then uh, this might be a good example uh, to be the first mover in terms of uh, smart logistics. But to stay ahead in the game, the government needs to ease regulations that restrict the development of new technologies. It should also increase R&D support for small developers to help finance the long process of testing and commercialising innovations. Oh Seung, Arirang News.